Hello YouTube, this is Snappermaker1 so free, welcome you back to The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 4, Part 4, possibly the final part. Let's do this! Anything? What the hell are? Oh, hello! You guys still not in yet? You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Guess I'll go back to class. Ding dong. This one's got a bloody handprint. Can't open it without the combination. That's the one thing I'm glad I never had in school. It's one good thing about from the UK than to America. And we don't have lockers. Little help! What Little the? help here! <laughs> wait, wait, wait a second. Fuck! The doors won't close all the way! Duh, because this fucker's head to you. Bam. We got Break the door with something. Swear. I got a hold. Damn well better. There's so many of them. You got the fuel. Let's not start high-fiving each other just yet. Let's get the hell back to the classroom. Give us a hand with these fuel cans. They weigh a goddamn ton. <laughs> yeah, my one uh, thing I'm glad about from life in the UK to America is that we didn't have lockers. You're back! Yeah, and we made out pretty good, too. Great work, Kenny. The reason why I say that's a good How thing doing is with that because door? my memory's not the best. Not so good. I would Here, have trouble remembering where hand. my locker would be and which what my combination would yet? be. That would be really annoying. Yeah, Molly has. I suppose you could have your name on it, so I guess she that would help. Be. But also remembering the combination would not be my favorite thing. I don't have the best memory when it comes to remembering that stuff. I let, I suppose I will get used to it. Cause I'm the kind of person who needs to do stuff daily in order for it to really sink into my head. If it's something that's like I'm only doing like maybe once every week or once every two weeks or something, something just not that co common I don't do, I tend to forget. So yeah. It take me a while to get for it to sink in, but once it starts to sink in and I'm still doing it, then it just becomes second nature in a way. Yeah, that's just the way my memory works sometimes. What's this? Okay, let's go and check up on the medicine people, because that's all we're waiting for at this point. <coughs> oh! Shit. How did they even get in? Kristen Vernon must be trapped in there. Time for unlimited ammo. Hey, um. Someone ring the dinner bell. That last one, not the not the very last one, the one before it. My aim wasn't even on that walker's head. <laughs> what the hell happened? They wandered into the hallway after we got inside. I think they must have heard us rooting around in here. The whole place is infested. They're everywhere. Calm down. I took care of them. What about the mids? Did we find what we need? Yeah, that's our other problem. Take a look. Looks like they were keeping all the prescription meds in that safe, locked up tight. Um, can we just bust it open? There's no way we can bust it open. Maybe with enough time, but I don't know how much of that we have. It'd be a hell of a lot quicker if we just knew the four-digit combination. Well, I doubt they just wrote it down and left it here for us to find. We should just try busting it open. We don't have any other choice. Okay, you get started. I'll take a look around, see if I can find anything useful. Alright then. What's this? <coughs> Anna Correa. Guess she must have been a patient here. And what's this? I got a tip. And I spied a camera.
Wow, the Bernie, music just went Christa, quiet. Come look at this. This is day 82 since the outbreak. 1547. Dr. Logan in consultation with patient Anna Correa. Why are you recording this? Regulations. Oberson has ordered me to keep records. That's of the guy. That's the walker we saw on the streets. I need you to brace yourself, Anna. The sonogram confirms that you're pregnant. Oh God! Oh God! Oh God! As you know, the rules are very clear. The termination is mandatory. You don't have to tell them. Tell them it was just nausea. But you gave me something for it, and it went away. This is my problem, not yours. If Oberson finds out that I concealed evidence of a pregnancy, I'm sorry, but these are the rules. I'm going to give you a sedative. It'll make the procedure easier on you. I don't want the procedure. I want my baby. I can't do this. I can't do this. Anna, you don't have a choice. Now, if you like, you can take some time with this. But I need you to come back no later than tomorrow, or I'll have no choice but to inform Oberson myself. I'm sorry. Damn. Whew. Damn it. We almost had it. What the hell kind of place was this? Ah, my legs are said, the worst kind. Ah, Lee, maybe leg. there's another tape. We got to keep looking. I think I recognize that doctor. He was one of the walkers out in the alley by the auto shop. Maybe you should search it. See what he's got on him. Ugh, oh, my legs are seriously cramping right now. Just trying to stretch it. Ugh. Oh, hopefully that'll last me for a minute. Okay, let's get back to the alleyway and find that walker. It's a walking doctor. Okay, that's actually my one question as well. In their so-called perfect society, they don't want no sick, no children, no elderly. So what's the point of having a doctor? It's like, oh, that guy's sick. Let's kill him. That's basically what it was, right? So what's the point of having a doctor? There's just no points. It's it's pointless. They just kill whoever gets sick. What's the absolute point? I know you'll probably like go on with the uh, argument saying like, well, if it's not like full on like disease like sickness it's just like um, oh you got a cold or you got like a stomach virus or something like that you can take stuff for that I suppose what the fuck I heard about watching too much TV would give you a square eyes but never square head <laughs> And apparently that thing was just a thing of the old TVs back in the old days, like in the in the 80s or whatever. But TVs these days, they won't hurt your eyes. Keep you like this, that square eye thing that they talk about. They don't, they're not going to give you that anymore. It's what I heard anyway. Down. You go. Okay. Search the sky. Man, I'm thirsty. I'm out of my tea. I got a half a tea. This might be just what we need. Sometimes I this feel like I'm a little looks like some kind of code. But Vernon said the safe combination was only four numbers. Shit, time to go. That's the other thing as well. Sometimes I feel like I might sometimes be a little addicted to uh cup of teas, cause Sometimes I have more than what I probably need during the day. <laughs> Can't help it. I lack my team. Logan. This must have been his locker. <laughs> no tape. Safe combination has got to be on one of these. Okay then. We got two tapes. Let's do this. I found two more tapes. One of them is dated October 10th. That's the day after the first one we watched. Put it in. Have you made a decision? I thought you said I didn't have a choice. Well, technically you do. You can terminate the pregnancy, 
or leave Crawford. Of course, that would be a death sentence for both you and your unborn child. Maybe that's best. I stayed up all last night thinking about this. Why are we even trying to survive, to keep on living, if this is what it takes, if this is what it's turned us into? I don't make the rules, Anna. Doctor, I'm begging you, please help me. Maybe one day, when things are different, you can try again. But for now, today, we have to do this. Stab. No. No. <laughs> I don't think we know what happened to Crawford. Yeah. More importantly, we got the combination. The doctor was the first walker of the Crawford that ended it. Krista, are you all right? What's wrong? It's nothing. That was just hard to watch. Don't worry about me. I'm fine. All right. Let's get those meds and get the hell out of here. Yes, please. Oh, clickety clack of my fingers. We're cracked. in business. <laughs> Antibiotics, morphine. We take as much of this as we can carry. Okay, I think we're good. This is more than enough for your people and mine. Let's go. You know, I found a third tape in the locker outside. Maybe there's something else on there. We got the meds from Omid. That's all I care about. We'll head back to the classroom. Don't take too long, Lee. Check this last tape out. My ears are starting to get a little sore with these headphones on. These headphones aren't the most comfortable. Really? Molly. Listen, as fun as this was, I have to put a stop to this little arrangement. This is the last I can give you. Why? Oberson had someone down here yesterday taking inventory. He's really cracking down. I just can't risk it. We had a deal. Yes, we had a deal. We don't anymore. My sister needs this medicine. Without it, she'll die, or she'll start showing symptoms, and they'll take her away. I can't let that happen. I'm sorry, Molly. I've done all I can, but I have to look out for myself here. Yeah, that's the Crawford way, isn't it? Damn. That explains the rage, right? Well, shit. Alright then. Oh, shut up, stomach. Let's get back to the classroom and work our way back to the house. Whoa. Jesus Christ! Oh, you scared the shit out of me. Where the fuck have you been? Sightseeing. Eh? I'll take that battery now. Oh, yeah. Uh, about that. What? I'm just kidding. Here you go. And now for the magical pockets. There it goes. <laughs> What's that? Nothing. Um, I know you're from Crawford. You can quit with the act, Molly. I know you're from Crawford. What? Who told you that? I saw you on a security tape. Why'd you lie to me? I said there were stories about Crawford. I never said that's how I knew about it. I never lied to you, and even if I did, so what? I don't owe you anything. You saved my life twice, but you can't tell me the truth? Are we really gonna do this now? I guess that's up to you. I used to live here with my sister. She was 14 years old. When the dead started walking and Crawford shut itself in, it seemed like a pretty good deal at first. We were safe. We had everything we needed to survive. Then the rules started coming down. No one who couldn't justify their place or in their keep. No one who required special care. My sister was diabetic, and by Crawford's rules, that made her a liability. I kept it a secret, 
kept her safe for as long as I could, but in the end, I couldn't protect her. That's when I got out. Crawford, they always talked about how their system worked, how anything was better than becoming one of them, but I saw what they'd already become. I just wish I could have seen it before it was too late, before they came and took my sister away. Damn. This is all I have left of her. She looks... I didn't have time to take it before I got out of Crawford. I just wanted it, okay? It's okay, Molly. She looks older in picture than 14. What the hell? I think that's our cue to get the hell out of here. Uh, where's the dead? Whoa! Whoa. Shit. Ben. Sorry, sorry. I just got spooked by those bells, and then I heard someone coming. What the fuck are you doing out here? Kenny and I still can't get the door open to the armory. He sent me out to look for something we can use to bust it open. I found this. Uh, isn't that what we used to block ben? the door? Where did you get that? I just found it. It was stuck in the door handle at the end of the hallway back there. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Shit! Good going, Ben. As usual. Lee! Shoot this fucker! Thanks. I didn't do it. It wasn't me! Good going, kid. Nice shot. Thanks. Damn, Clem. What the fuck is going on? Right They're as coming. I was about to hit the trigger. Oh, shit. That ought to hold him. Sir, but now how do we get out? Through the armory. We can just get this damn door open. Come on, damn you! Man. This is my fault, all my fault. The hell's he babbling about? Ben, we talked about this. No, wait. I want to know what he meant. This what isn't do you the mean time. This is all your fault. Penny, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, man. Kid, this ain't the best time. Whatever you did, save it for later. I opened the door. I let them in. Ben, we don't have time for this now. Yeah, I'm we don't. Sorry, we, I can't do this anymore. He's got a right to know. Yeah, but what? now in this type of situation, all along, putting all of us in danger, Katja and Duck, it was all me. It was all me. Wait a minute. What are you saying? It was me who made the deal with the bandits at the Motor Inn, slipping them supplies. I thought maybe I could keep them off our backs. When it got discovered, that's when they attacked. And that's when Duck... Oh, God. Kid, enough! Calm down, man! You little pissant! You're fucking dead, you hear me? Dad! My wife and child! You gotta both fucking kill! Kenny, I said calm the fuck down! Damn. Nice group you got here. Shut up, Not Molly. Not the time, Molly. If this asshole thinks he's getting on my boat after what he did, he's out of his motherfucking mind! You hear me, shitbird? You can stay behind and fucking rot! Kenny, we'll sort this out later. After we get out of here, okay? Ain't nothing to sort out. I just told you the way it's gonna be. The boat's not big enough for all of us. Somebody's gotta get left behind. Might as well be this piece of shit right here! Well, I vote we leave it. I'm sorry, Ben. I know you mean well, but all I want to do is get back to Omi, and you put that at risk. Wait, don't I get a vote? Of course you do. Of course you do. Ben's nice. He's my friend. We don't leave friends behind. That's my vote. On second thought, I think I'm gonna abstain. Lee? I abstain. I can't do this right now. I abstain. We'll figure this out later. <laughs> what about the rest of us? Don't we get a say? I don't think you do. Now can we go? Damn right. Vernon, come on! Oh. <laughs> I don't think she gets a vote. Uh, 
Oh, the door ain't gonna shut. So much for the armory. What's left of it? A few rounds. That's it. You didn't close that door behind us? I couldn't. The lock was busted. Great. Just fucking great. Come on. There's gotta be a way out down here. Lie down. Hello. Fuck! It's not gonna hold. Back upstairs. Asa. Ooh, shotgun. Lee, look. Yay! I got a shotgun. I normally wouldn't work for that range. Use a left stick to get away. Boom! 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 Infinite gun ammo! Boom! Boom! <laughs> boom, boom, boom! Oh shit, oh shit. Come on, come on. Ah, shit, shit. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, how many? Oh, shit. Nice one. Yeah, melee time. Damn. Swing. Overboard. Kick. Oh, I lost the hatchet. Come on! Is this really a time to hug? It's all right, Clint. I'm fine. This really does Any not seem like here? a time to hug. This leads to the roof. We might be able to find a way down from there. You didn't come into town from the railroad, did you? Yeah. Why? Never mind. I can see the sewer where we came in from here. I think we can do this. Well, what are we waiting for? Go, go! You don't just stand around. <laughs> Come on, let's go! That bloody bell. The Big Ben. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh shit. And this is where I'm afraid I have to Climb up. make a choice. Come on, you can do it! There's no time! You have to go! Now! Fuck it around, Ben! Come on! Let go, damn it! Get Clem and the others out of here! Me! I feel like I have to take Ben up on that offer, I'm afraid. We... we both know. Let me go. I'm sorry, Ben. I'm going to be honest, I didn't want to do that. <laughs> For whom the bells tolls. <sighs> Vista? Everything okay? Oh, me! Not another person dead. Krista, don't! Stay back! I never should have left you. I'm so sorry. Krista, get away from him! Mm -mm. Uh. Hey, back already? <sighs> you asshole. We got you medicine. Good. Feel like I could use some. 
Where's Ben? Oh. He didn't make it. What happened? Dumb son of a bitch nearly got us all killed. Lee stepped up and did what he had to. That's what happened. Did you have to put it like that? Not in front of Clementine, dude. Nice going, asshole. What's eating you? Yeah, I did what I had to. But I don't expect Clementine to understand that. Hell, I don't want her to understand it. You did the right thing. Trust me. She'll understand. I'm gonna go start work. I wonder if she will. Because the first okay. time I played With through this game, luck, you should start feeling I actually person. pulled Ben up. I'll stay here so I don't know if she ever understands. Let me know. But this playthrough, we'll find Thanks, out. Time. Season 1 slash yes. and season Thank 2. So we'll find much. out if she does understand in the end. Because I'm Maybe not now sure if she did. Why? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. About what happened to Bree. Don't beat yourself up over it. There was nothing you could have done. You want to know the worst part? What? I don't feel much. I mean, I don't feel enough. Shouldn't I be broken up over what happened to her? That's how I was when I lost my daughter. When I lost my friends in those first few weeks. But now, it's like I just take something like this in stride. Like this is what our world is now. And Better just get used to it. Damn. What did you want to talk to me about? I know you care about Clementine. Anyone can see that. And I know you want what's best for her. But this plan of yours, putting everyone on a boat with no destination, do you really think that's her best chance of finding somewhere where she can be safe? Because I don't. So I want to make you an offer. What are what you kind saying? Of an offer? I'll take her off your hands, take her back with me to my people. We're well supplied, well hidden, and a lot of us have had kids of our own. And now Crawford's fallen, we got nothing left to fear from them. She'll be safe with us. Safer than she will be if she stays with you, Walk. I promise you. Walk That's away. That's what you want for her, isn't it? To be safe? I'm gonna pretend you didn't say any of this and give you a chance to walk away, which you ought to do right now. I know you think you're doing what's best for her, and if you were her real father, we wouldn't be having this conversation, but you're not. And staying with you is not what's best for her. If no one else around here will tell you that, then I will. And how would you even know? That little girl's in my care. We've been through more together than you can imagine. Anyone who tries to get between me and her, anyone, is gonna wind up dead! You hear me? Take your hands off me. Bloody hell. Speaking of Clementine, we ought to go and see her. Maybe we could calm her down a bit, what happened to Ben. Hey, going somewhere? Yeah, I'm about to head out. I, I just wanted to say thanks for everything. It's been fun. Leaving? What are you talking about? Kenny's working on the boat right now. Thought you were coming with us. God knows you earned it. Yeah, I've been thinking it over. It's not for me. Sounds like it'd be pretty crowded, and I never did like the water. You sure about this? I'm sure. I've always done better on my own, anyhow. Listen, I'm not much for goodbyes. Tell the others for me? Sure. You take care of yourself, Molly. You too, Lee. Damn. And you be sure to take care of that little girl. You know she thinks the world of you. I question that now, actually. Ain't nothing to do with luck. Oh. <coughs> okay. Time to go and see Clementine.
This episode might be a bit longer than all the other ones, but we are virtually at the end of the game. And he's working on the boat. End of the game. End of the episode. What are we going to do after he fixes it? Where will we go? Someplace else. Someplace else. Someplace better. Clem, honey, what's wrong? What happened to Ben? What did Kenny mean when he said you did what you had to? Okay, here we go. He didn't want me to save him. Clem, you have to believe me. I tried to save him, but Ben didn't want me to. What do you mean? What Ben did was very brave. He knew we were running out of time, and that saving him might put everyone else in danger. So he told me to leave him behind so the rest of us could get away. I know that's difficult to understand. I understand. You do? Yeah. He thought about other people before he thought about himself. My mom always told me that's what makes a good person. Well, she was right. True. Very true. Before we leave tomorrow, will we have time to look for my parents? Um... There may not be time. I'd like to, Clem. But I don't think we'll have time. We really shouldn't stay here any longer. It's not safe. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Clementine. I'm so sorry. <sighs> this game, it tugs on your strings, I swear. I wonder how season 3 is going to turn out, Clementine being grown up. I wonder how that one's going to tug on your heartstrings then. I guess we'll find out together, won't we? Because I'm going to be playing that blind for YouTube. For all of you. Well, for you people who are actually watching. <laughs> uh, Clementine? Clementine? And she's gone. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. Where is everybody? The morning after. Clementine? Clementine! Oh shit, her hat. <coughs> Radio? Go. I was about to say, Anna, can I pick it up? Hide the fire or show safe. the fire. Lee, where's Clementine? I'm gonna show. She's not in her room. Vernon ain't in the house either. What the hell is going on? Whose blood is that? It's mine. Oh my god. No way. No. No fucking way. There's no time to worry about me. Clementine's gone. There's no chance she just wandered off on her own? Why would she? No way. Then who the hell took her? I don't know. Last night, Vernon came to me and offered to take her with him. Said she'd be better off. Son of a bitch. 
I knew we couldn't trust that fucker. Wherever she is, I have to find her. Okay. What do you need from us? Um, I need help to find her. Clem may not have much time. We have a better chance of finding her if we all go together. Who's with me? We're all responsible for Clementine. And in your condition, you may not make it to her in time. She needs our help. All of our help. Damn right. We can't let you do this alone. Yeah, they're, are they so all that's settled then. We'll look for Clementine together. Hell yeah. What are we waiting for? Thank you. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate it. Really. Kenny? You've always been there for me, Lee. Always had my back when it mattered. What kind of friend would I be if I wasn't there for you now? Bitten or not, I'm with you to the end. You can count on me. Whoa. Okay, guys. We I go actually got him as my friend this. this time. Every time I played this before, I've always had what a question. What about the boat? We just gonna leave it unguarded? If someone was gonna take it, they'd have done it already. Besides, what choice do we have? It's good to know I have Lee completely on my side. Lee. <laughs> Kenny completely on my side. I have absolutely no idea how to say that. <laughs> Pen ultimate? I don't know. Or is that ultimatum? I don't know. Oh. Empty. Where the hell are they? Looks like they got out of here in a hurry. Vernon! Get out here! There doesn't have to be any trouble here! All I want is the girl! Give her back and nobody needs to get hurt! Yeah. So how's this thing gonna play out past this point, to be perfectly honest, because things are starting... Uh, I've actually done things a bit different than when I first played through this for YouTube, so I don't really know how things might pan out past this point. King Dead, Episode 5, No Time Left. And they were my options. Yay! Who came with me? 13% so I'm getting them. Damn. Okay then. That'll do it. That's the end of episode 4, Around Every Corner. Hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the final episode of season 1, episode 5, No Time Left. See ya!